Hello friends, this video on human reproduction part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now the question is, I told you right that this process of spermatogenesis, it starts at puberty. Now what special happens at puberty that the spermatogenesis starts? Now when it was not there since birth, how come suddenly some changes happened at puberty that this process got initiated? So let us see what special happens here. Now increased secretion of gonadotropin releasing hormone. Now you remember we discussed, we learned about quite a few hormones in the chemical coordination lesson of class 11th. So we will make use of that knowledge of hormones. So we know that from the hypothalamus, now in the brain there are two glands. One is this red colored gland which is the hypothalamus which acts as a link between the nervous system and the endocrine system and we have another gland which is also called the master gland or pituitary gland located just below the hypothalamus. Now the body synchronization is such that pituitary gland controls the secretion of hormones from all other glands of the body and hypothalamus in turn controls the pituitary. So that is how it is organized inside our body. Now what happens is at puberty, the secretion of gonadotropin releasing hormone from the hypothalamus increases. Now when this hormone, this is often known as GnRH. So when this releasing hormone is secreted from the hypothalamus, what happens? It actually stimulates the pituitary to secrete these hormones that is LH and FSH. What is LH? It is luteinizing hormone. We have discussed about all these hormones in class 11th. So if you want, you can just have a quick recap going there. And FSH is follicle stimulating hormone. Now due to the release of the gonadotropin releasing hormone from the hypothalamus, it sends a signal to the pituitary to release LH and FSH. And what do these hormones do? So let us have a quick look. See, this is how they are connected. So this is hypothalamus and this is pituitary. This, this side is anterior pituitary and this side is posterior pituitary. We have discussed all these things. Now what happens is when gonadotropin releasing hormone is secreted from the hypothalamus, it sends a signal to the anterior pituitary which stimulates the secretion of LH and FSH from anterior pituitary. Now once LH and FSH are secreted, where do they act? They act on which part of the body or on which cells of the body. Now the LH hormone or the luteinizing hormone acts on the Leydig cells. Now what are Leydig cells? The cells which are present inside the testis in the interstitial spaces, right? So the Leydig cells are the interstitial cells. And the FSH hormone acts on the Sertoli cells. You remember Sertoli cells? These Sertoli cells also form the inner lining of the seminiferous tubules. They provide nourishment to the male germ cells which actually produce sperms. So we talk, spoke about these two cells. Now one of these hormones that is LH acts on Leydig cells and FSH acts on Sertoli cells. So what happens due to that? Okay, so this is where we are. So this is these are the seminiferous tubules. So inside in the inner lining of seminiferous tubules, we have the Sertoli cells. And where do we have the Leydig cells? We have them in the interstitial spaces. So there we have the Leydig cells. Right? Now we have also learned what do they do? So what will happen when these hormones act on these cells? Let us have a quick look again. So now the Leydig cells are responsible for synthesis and secretion of androgens. So when this hormone acts on the Leydig cells, a lot of androgen will get produced because this hormone will stimulate the synthesis and production of androgens. And what do what are androgens? Androgens, they control the uh, sexual behavior or the secondary sexual, I mean the male sexual accessory ducts and glands. So it controls all of that. So basically it controls the functioning of the male reproductive system. So more and more androgens get produced, that is testosterone get produced. So what happens? The secondary sexual characters are observed in male 
at puberty. Similarly, what happens to the cervix? So this in turn stimulates the process of spermatogenesis because all the reproductive parts tend to become more active. So spermatogenesis is stimulated. So when this hormone is secreted, spermatogenesis is stimulated. Now in a very similar way, what happens when the FSH acts on Sertoli cells? It stimulates the process of spermiogenesis. What is spermiogenesis? Just in the previous slide, I told you, right? The transformation of spermatids into sperms. So that happens in the Sertoli cells. That transformation requires some uh, input from the Sertoli cells. So when these hormones act on the Sertoli cells, this process is also stimulated. So spermiogenesis, spermatogenesis, all these start taking place at puberty. So now let us quickly have a look at where these cells are actually located. So let us quickly look at the cross-section of the uh, seminiferous tubule. So in this seminiferous tubule you can actually see so you can actually see the male germ cells. Now as I said the inner lining of a seminiferous tubule is formed by two types of cells. One is uh, the uh, Sertoli cells and the other one is the uh, male germ cell. So Sertoli cells you can see some lo little longer cells here. So these cells which you see these are the Sertoli cells, whereas the other cells which you see, they are the male germ cells or spermatogonia, whatever you call them. So these are the two cells which form the inner lining of the um, seminiferous tubules. Now from these male germ cells, primary spermatocytes are formed. So these cells which are formed here, they are primary spermatocytes. Again from the primary spermatocytes, secondary spermatocytes are formed. So these are secondary spermatocytes. And from the secondary spermatocytes, spermatids are formed. So here you see dot like structures. So they are the spermatids. And from the spermatids, sperms are formed. So here you can see these are the sperms. So you see that actually the cells which produce sperms, they are located on the periphery. And finally, sperms are formed in the lumen. So this is how sperms are formed inside this tubule. Now, where are the Leydig cells located? Leydig cells are located in the interstitial spaces somewhere here. These cells which we see in the interstitial places, so interstitial spaces are the Leydig cells. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.